Hey guys, it's Eunice here back with another video. And today I'm touring this incredibly beautiful home here in Westlake, Texas. Uh, as you know, this is one of the most wealthy zip codes in all of Texas. And uh, this home, we have, a, we have a very special tour for you today because this is a brand new construction at the Knolls of Solana in this new development here in Westlake, right off of Highway 114. Uh, so this community zones into Carroll ISD, which is one of the best school districts in Texas. Uh, and this home specifically, uh, as I mentioned, is about 5,323 square feet and it is listed right under 3.7 million, putting it at a price per square foot right under $700, which is on the high end. Uh, but as you'll see as we go through the home, some of the features and upgrades and premiums it has makes up for it um, fully. Uh, this home has five bedrooms, five full bathrooms, and then one half bath. And then it's on about one third of an acre uh, of a lot. But I'm excited to show you this home as I've been doing for the past few times. And uh, I really think this is going to be the best home I've toured so far. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tour. Alrighty, guys. So here I am outside of the home. It's a bit sunny as the sun is coming from uh, the west at the moment. But as you can see, we have a beautiful three car garage and this is an elevated lot. So it's kind of sloped as you drive up here and you can see a lot of the new construction going on. Uh, and then you can see right here in the front of the neighborhood, we have two gates. So it is a gated community. Um, we have some retail over there and then 114 right across um, that road right there. Uh, we have two lots being built on right beside the home here. And as you see, three car garage and then we have this nice step up right here into the home. And, you know, you're probably wondering, you know, for people who might be elderly um, or disabled, you know, how does such a huge step up work? Um, and I'll show you as we get into the home, there's actually... Uh, there's actually an elevator in this home or a lift up from the garage that goes into this main story. So as we come into the home, as you can see, beautiful light fixture. Uh, we have a lot of the wooded floor across the home. And then, of course, the exterior of the home is a lot of the stone and stucco. Uh, on the right hand side here, we have this beautiful office, a lot of wood in here, uh, and it gives it a very nice professional feel. Uh, and as you see, it's more of that earthy, contemporary, modern home. Uh, we have this beautiful floating staircase here, and it gives it a lot of the nice nature vibes. And then as we come into the main part of the home, as you can see, it's a very open layout. We have a nice stone fireplace, and we have these huge 16 um, feet sliding doors on both sides of the living area. Here we have a nice little, uh, I guess, mini bar and entertainment space for your drinks and things like that. And then on the other side here, we have the dining area, and then of course the kitchen, which I will get into further detail here momentarily. Uh, but first I'm gonna take you through this side. And as we go through here, we have the first half bath, and then we actually have the first bedroom. And then this one, obviously has its nice walk-in closet and all of them are going to have uh, an attached full bathroom which is very convenient so you have your shower here um, and then as we come out of the bathroom this connects out to the um, this little hallway we actually have the elevator lift this is where it will open up to and then we'll come through here which we'll go through in a second this is the laundry area but down these stairs is where you'll actually find the garage. Beautiful space, poxy floors, the whole nine yards. And then we actually have the elevator lift. So you just come out of the garage, you step into the lift, and then it will take you up into that first floor. So it's pretty cool, very nice for people. And then we have a mudroom, very nice for family members or guests who you know, are elderly or maybe hurt, disabled. It's just a nice feature to have at a home of this price point. So we have here the laundry room with a sink and then plenty of cabinet space. And then we have a very beautiful butler's kitchen. It has a prep sink, fridge, oven, everything you really need for entertaining. And then, of course, this is, again, uh, the kitchen. So the kitchen has beautiful court countertops here. Uh, amazing light fixtures and then it actually has wolf appliances so you have wolf uh, oven range you have vents and then you have your fridge and freezer 
over here built into the wall and then your your i guess drink or wine uh cooler on this side so and then again you see um how i'll show you in a second but the backyard actually has these covers that will come down and completely black out uh, the outside. So that is it for the living area here. And now uh, we're gonna take a look into this wing of the home which has the master suite. So as we come in, you'll see this beautiful master bedroom. And then we have this attachment to it, which is kind of like a nice cozy reading area, lounge area. And what's cool is you actually have a safe room or a tornado shelter or just a storage for you know your valuables and things like that so this completely shuts locks off and it's tornado proof fireproof um, you know that whole sort of thing which is very nice to have as a shelter you know for you and your family and your your items your um, belongings and then as we get into the primary bathroom as you can see they have a beautiful marble floors uh the standalone tub bathroom which that that toilet right there is super expensive and it's very nice has the bidet and everything and then we actually have a steam shower which is super cool uh you know to just super a lot of health benefits with the steam shower um you know and it's a beautiful size and then you have the master closet which is just amazing it's like a fashion show in here beautiful uh and yeah that's pretty much it for the downstairs part of the home as you can see, there's a lot of the very tall glass, a lot of natural lighting coming into this home. And uh, now I'm just going to go ahead and give you another pan of the downstairs living area as we make our way upstairs into the second floor. And again, if you guys have any questions about this home or, you know, what it would take to afford something like this, let me know down below. Uh, most of the time, especially in this market where rates are so high, people are going to be paying cash for something like this. But... You know, if, if you think financing makes sense for you, you know, we can definitely get you connected. So as you come upstairs, um, again, we have a few different ways we can take. We're going to go down this right-hand side. So here's another full bath, bathroom. And uh, as you can see, they're all very nice and unique. And then this room here is actually going to be a workout room. So this does not qualify as another bedroom. So we tore two downstairs, and then this is going to be the third bedroom here. So, pretty great size. You have a closet here. And then we actually have a nice balcony that leads to the outside, the front side of the home. As you can see, beautiful metal roof that we have and some of the construction going there, the neighbor and the road on this side. So, very nice. And then it connects also from the other bedroom. So that was the third bedroom. And as we go down here, we have this kind of awkward space now in between some of the bedrooms and this, uh, I guess, entertaining area. You can turn this into maybe like a study room or lounge room and maybe do get creative with it a little bit. But this is the fourth bedroom upstairs. Again, we have another full bathroom here with a kind of emerald uh, backsplash and countertop, which is, which is pretty cool. And then we have another closet. This is a pretty big closet as well, so very nice to see that. And then of course we have the other side of the balcony, which leads to the outside. So as we make our way down these past, uh, these last two rooms, we have our final fifth bedroom here. Again, beautiful natural lighting coming in, full bathroom um, as other rooms and course the closet space and then this last room upstairs is pretty cool I mean it could be like a nice entertainment room um, you know game room whatever you would want it to be movie room and it actually has its own balcony now towards the backyard which you will see from the backyard as we go down there here in a second so nice to just kind of sit out here it's very peaceful and what's cool is that home next door you cannot see your neighbors because their home is going to be blocked by this side of your home. And then this home over here to the left-hand side, the back of their home is going to be here. So you are going to have all the privacy you really need. And uh, that's pretty much it for the home now. So we're going to go ahead and go toward the backyard and uh, wrap this up. All right, guys, as we get outside here, we can just go ahead and open up the sliding door. 
And then of course, this outside area itself has a lot of cool features. So you have your split fireplace that you can turn on in the winter time. And then you have these four, so two here, you have a fan, and then you actually have two heating areas here. And then they're all controlled by these units. So in the winter time, you can just turn those on, shut those, those blinds, put the covers down, and it can be fully insulated. And then in the summertime, like it is now, you can just turn on the fan. So winter, you're, you're covered. Summer, you can just open it up. And when the weather's nice, just open it up and have that outdoor, indoor living type of area. You have your built-in grill, fridge, you have your countertops. I mean, it's just a beautiful place for entertaining and it's just a nice place. And then we have the artificial turf here, or grass. We have the turf uh, floors and then we have beautiful pool with a spa, a lounging area, and then some just nice landscaping overall the back side of the home and what's cool is there's just acres of untouched Corps of engineer land behind you so you have all the privacy you need and that pretty much wraps up the tour in the backyard for those of you who are curious maybe about the hoa it is twenty nine hundred dollars annually uh, which is not uncommon at all for west lake in this area and then you have all your pool equipment and con uh, control settings over here on this side of the home so that's it for the backyard and you know i hope you guys enjoy this tour uh let me know if you have any comments down below or questions and uh, we're just going to go ahead and wrap all righty guys that is it for the tour today i hope you guys enjoyed that as i mentioned this is what 3.7 million dollars will get you here in westlake texas i hope you guys saw the value let me know if you guys think that this home is worth that price point as i said it has a lot of those upgrades and premium features um, that you're just not going to find in other homes. So, um, you know, let me know what you guys think down below. Please like, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll be coming out with some new videos and new ideas here in the next few weeks. So stay tuned and I will see you guys next time.